Welcome to Positive Shifts, the Transformation and Spirituality Summit. This is an event to help those interested in personal growth, personal development, healing, spirituality, and transformation. We have a ton of amazing experts for you today. We have another one coming right up. Take it away, Kimberly. Well, hello, folks. I am super excited. We have Gregory Reese Smith here with us today. He is amazing. He's actually dialing all the way from the UK. He's going to talk about magic and miracles to accelerate your life. Welcome to the program, Gregory. Nice to be here, Kimberly. Although I'm not dialing in from the UK, I'm dialing oh, yeah? in from Portugal, although my English accent may be the dominant feature. Ah, all right. Well, welcome from Portugal. Super excited. We're going to have to add that to our list of, uh, of places that people are dialing in from. We have people from Egypt and New Zealand and Canada and Australia and uh, Sweden, I believe. And now we have Portugal. So super glad to have you here with us today, regardless of the time difference. And I appreciate you carving time out of yes. it to be with us. Before we get started into this topic, I want to know how did you become an, act, uh, an expert on magic and miracles? Well, I suppose uh, that goes back to uh, when I was seven. Uh, um, I was hospitalized to have my tonsils out. And uh, my father didn't come to see me in hospital, although my mother did. And I thought, well, my father was looking to focus on his business and, and therefore didn't have time to love me. And therefore, my belief was, if I was a successful businessman, I would then attract the love of my father. Well, move on a few years. And uh, I was the CEO of a technology company that I'd taken public. And I had intense back pain, so much so that I couldn't walk. I, I, I wasn't able to go through the routine, et cetera, et cetera. And then I realized that actually, my passion was not to be a successful businessman. My passion was to live not the position, but the purpose. And the purpose was more to be a shaman. Mm. And then a few years later, uh, I recovered all my shamanic powers because I realized although I've been a shaman four times before, I didn't have my powers and so one day I went out and uh, walked down a hill to somewhere that's one of the oldest well in fact it's the largest stone circle in the world and the largest uh, what the largest what stone circle okay largest stone so it's bigger than Stonehenge although it's part oh. of the Stonehenge complex okay it's older than Stonehenge etc and so uh, it was a a very nice day. It was 100% cloud cover, drizzle, walk down the hill to somewhere called Silbury Hill, which is again part of the complex. And as I was walking down the hill to it, and Silbury Hill's like that, so it's not exactly natural. Uh, I realized, bang, been here before. And the last time I was here, I denounced, renounced all my shamanic powers uh, because somebody died in a ceremony I was doing there. And so that's about 2,500 BC or something. Um, and, and so I then did a ceremony to forgive myself. And then 100% cloud cover as we're leaving, shaft of sunlight came straight from the clouded clouds over the top of the hill and hit me and my, my friend that was there. So, okay, thank you very much, done that. So from there, which is a long way of telling you about the magic of miracles because then I brought all my shamanic powers back. And wow. so since then, I've been practicing mar magic and miracles um, regularly. Well, fantastic. All right, so um, as a shaman, are you, uh, tell us a little bit about what that means and, and how you exercise that in this particular uh, lifetime. Um, so first, first of all, the purpose of a shaman is to bring balance and harmony between Father Sky and Mother Earth and humanity. And so there are more shamans incarnate at the moment because what's happening on Mother Earth? It's going through one or two little shifts. And so we are all seeking to bring in that balance and harmony. Uh, we do it in our own way. We do it, at, say, one-to-one -one with you or with a group or, or whatever it may be. 
And, and so it's bringing the balance and harmony because that's what we need as a humanity. So we've left the age of Pisces. We're moving into the age of Aquarius. Pisces kicked in um, 2000 odd years ago. And also that was a phase of um, humanity moving from a matriarchal society to a patriarchal society. Pisces. Age of Aquarius is, moving back is to now America. moving into mate, exactly collaboration, not I mean control, it's about collaboration and community. So more the matriarch is coming back. Balance and harmony, that's what we need. And so there are one or two challenges going on at the moment, but that's the trend. All right. Well, I know that there was a big shift in the age of Aquarius and some cool stuff that happened about three to six months ago, I think. Something really big. What was that that just happened? That, 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 okay. If you go back to the mind calendar, the mind calendar is worked 26,000 years in accordance with the way the earth is aligned. Okay. 26,000 years then breaks down into we have 12 zodiac signs. Each zodiac sign 2,160 years long. So we've now moved from the age of Pisces, which is the end of the 12 signs of the zodiac into Aquarius, which is the first sign of the zodiac. So we basically have 26,000 years to sort things out. Okay. All right. Well, lots going on here. Let's get into the topic before I like get us all distracted and talking about all this other stuff. <laughs> Let's talk about magic and miracles to accelerate your life. So what can we do to use magic and miracles to accelerate our lives? Are you there? Right. Did you freeze? So Okay. We are I'm, I'm okay. Of, okay. We are having a little bit of an internet issue, but you're back. So let's go. Okay. And as long as it works, it works for me. So uh, if I take back what I said a moment ago, in the sense of we're moving into a new phase of hum human evolution, what do we need to do in terms of evolving humanity? And that means taking responsibility for ourselves. And so the magic and miracles come from allowing ourselves to be responsible for our life rather than passing responsibility over to others. And so the magic and miracles come from being at peace, being in the centered point of view, uh, not having all this distraction because then we have the power to create. We live in an infinite um, cosmos. Okay. So everything is available to us, but we think that we can only have this little bit, whereas actually we can have that bit. And so that's where the magic and miracles come from, because I use my connection to allow everybody to accelerate their life, because acceleration comes from connection with the soul. And my soul name uh, actually means soul connector. So I've done this in a few lifetimes. Everybody has a soul name. And mine means soul connector. So okay. my purpose, in that sense, magic and miracles, connect to your soul. And therefore, the, you can accelerate your life because you can bring in the magic and miracles that are available to all of us. Okay. So you're going to connect. You can, okay. So I'm all excited. Now I need to know what my soul name is. And I need to know all kinds of stuff. Like, this is really... <laughs> This is super powerful. Do you guys want to know what soul name is? Like, I, I'm like, I, I'm dying now. Like, I'm like, I need to know. I need like inquiring minds and stuff like that. So how do you find your soul name? You ask. Oh, you ask? And then they tell you? Yep. Can I and ask yours you? Begins with the letter, you yours, begins with the, yours begins with the letter B. Mine begins with the letter B, but we don't know what the rest of it is. Well, you could do the same process. So you've got 26 letters in the alphabet. Okay. And you could just go which is what I did, oh, I don't know, 20 years ago. Okay. Uh, I remember standing in the kitchen. Okay, what does it begin with? What's the second letter? What's the third letter? And going through right. each letter in the alphabet. Ah, oh, that's it. My next one is R, so it's B-R? No, it's just oh. B. I'm not going to give you any more. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fun in this? Oh, I'm just teasing. Okay, so I'll ask and I'll figure it out. And then probably not on the break, but uh, it might take a little bit longer than that. Maybe by tomorrow I'll have it all figured out. Who knows? Yeah. Um, 
you, you, when you, you, buy have, you have nine letters. And nine letters. Okay. All right. I got nine to get through. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. So when I get this name, the soul name, will it make sense in English or is it something that then I have to translate? No, it, 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 uh, it will be letters that you can then um, speak out loud. And so you, you can then use the letters because it depends where it's come from. What's your soul feel uh, connected to? It could be Greek word or uh, anything doesn't matter um but it's it's the name that you've had since you first incarnated as a soul Aww. and have brought through the umpteen lifetimes okay all right awesome i'm digging this i'm really i'm digging deep this is super fun um okay so eva or eva maybe is asking what are gregory's views on soulmates please do you have a soul do we all have a soulmate out there do we all have multiple no. soulmates do we have one person that follows us through all of our lives no. no. Okay. Tell us more. Um, before we incarnate, uh, the, the, the team, the support team comes together and we have a little meeting and we sort out the, the connections to enable the experiences because every soul has one purpose. The sole purpose is to evolve. How do okay. we evolve? Through experiences. Right. And so we, we have a sort of rough plot. Of, of these connections will bring this experience to you and therefore that's how you will learn whatever's necessary and so there are family connections so we all have a soul family and the soul family oh i want to be gregory's partner in this life well no i want to be and so you can have various there's not one is what i'm saying there could be several people whose or souls whose purpose is to help you learn and that doesn't mean you just need one soulmate because the soul partner would be to help you learn a lesson okay all right so the uh, you're you're in it with a bunch of different people through different lifetimes and you're in in this experience okay so yeah. then you have different people that you're partnering up with to learn different lessons and evolve in different ways absolutely okay and, and, right. and, and, I, I have I have various soulmates that I don't have a, an intimate relationship with. Okay. Now, soulmate, the way we interpret it is, oh, this must be the one that I'm going to have, et cetera. Live happily ever no. after and that stuff, yeah. No, no, no. It's not how it works. Okay. Well, good to know. Um, because, you know, like there's lots of different people that I like enjoy, um, it, it, like having really powerful experiences with where it is learning and deep meditation and all kinds of cool things. Um, and I do feel sometimes like my partner, Ginny is amazing. And we were definitely meant to create speakers playhouse together and it was super fun. Um, but you know, that's just like coming together and then going apart. Right. So that's exactly, definitely exactly. So to come in to learn, to help you with something rather than this is it. There's only one and, and, yeah. and talking about relationships, uh, people say, oh, well, what's going to happen if I break up with this one? Well, there are always more floating around. Good Depends point. Depends on where you are. Good point. So it's okay to break up with this one or not. It's okay to stay with this one too. All right. Because if, you, if, you've, if you've learned all that you needed to learn from oh, that, yeah. that partner, so I think that if you've learned, if you haven't learned all you needed to learn from that partner, and then you go through a uh, separation from that person, maybe it's a full on divorce. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's just like you came together and you were yeah. with each other as friends or whatever for a while and then got yeah. apart. Um, if you didn't learn what you needed to learn, then you're still taking you with you and you're going to have somebody else show up and they're going to be that same experience. Is that correct? That's right. And, and, and you see some people, uh, I'm not criticizing, but some people go through six divorces. So what does that tell you? There's something they haven't learned about relationships. And they keep going in the next one until something will happen. Bang. Okay. Is it sometimes true that they're all named like Linda or something like that, that they're all the same name too? And like, it's just couldn't be more obvious. <laughs> Absolutely. Except it's not obvious to me. All I can see is that. <laughs> That's true. Ah, all right. So, all right. How can we use magic and miracles to accelerate our lives? So now that we know this, now that we know that we're out here and we're here to evolve and we're here to, and we have the power of magic and we have the power of miracles, how can we accelerate our life and stop putting the brakes on? Shall I do a little uh, example? 
<gasps> I'd love a little example. Yay, we're doing like an example. I've been wanting this all day. Okay, let's do. <laughs> okay, so uh, if I ask you and the audience to just center yourselves, in other words, classic switch off the distractions, etc., cetera, et cetera. Okay. And just center yourself and take three deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Now, there is some issue in your life at the moment that's floating around. It doesn't matter what that is. Uh, now, feel into your body where that issue is held in your body. Can you feel it? Can you feel the emotion of it? Can you feel the, the anger, the sadness, the guilt, whatever it is connected with that? And just feel into it. I love this. I would love to hear from the audience where you're feeling it. You don't have to share the issue, but share with us where in your body you're feeling it and what the emotion is. Hopefully you guys are playing with us and you're not driving a car while you're closing your eyes. <laughs> and I don't mean to distract people, but I do want to be sure they're safe. Okay, no, so Byron, Byron says, I'm feeling it in my heart. Deborah says, I'm feeling it in my heart and my mouth. Uh, Kima says, I'm feeling it in my stomach. I have a knot there. Yeah. I'm right. kind of feeling it in my uh, solar plexus is where mine is. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. All right. Let's talk a little bit about what that means. Melissa, uh, says, Melissa says, left shoulder blade, inner critic. Excellent. Uh, Byrony says, my awareness of it shifted though. Hmm. Interesting. Once you pay attention to it, it moves. Dagmar says, lower okay. leg. Low, I'm sorry, lower back and right leg interesting all right we have a fully participant okay. audience right now this is so fun excellent um now just to answer some of the points with and i'm, I'm moving on so i'm not going to be too long um the left side of the body tends to be looking backwards in other words holding on to something from the past okay whereas the right is looking forward so simplistically a left leg, a right leg, sorry, stepping into the future would okay. suggest there is a concern about stepping into the future on right. something. Okay. Whereas the shoulder, I'm carrying a burden because that's what the shoulders do okay. from the past. All right. So left shoulder blade, um, I'm carrying a burden from the past. Right leg, I'm nervous about stepping forward into something. And there's no shame something. in this. There's no, no like, absolutely. You, don't, you don't have to be like, oh, no, no, I'm not really afraid of stepping forward. Or I'm not really like, I'm not holding on to things from the past. I let all that go. Um, the just body doesn't fear, lie. Right. The body the doesn't fear, lie. And your feelings uh, don't lie. It, it's it, right? up here. We tend to put the blanket on it. But the body's giving you a message. Now, do we listen to the message? And so uh, with the left shoulder, the right leg, the stomach, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the solar plexus, just to keep, come back to that one for the last moment, um, is about am I operating in my power? Oh. Am I operating with all that I am? And of course, throat, what am I not speaking? Mm -hmm. Mouth, mouth is speaking, right? Yep. Okay. So um, sim simplistically. Okay. So now back to being centered. Uh, take take the eyes off the, the screen and typing okay. this, that, and the other. Nice. Now go into that feeling, whether it's the blade, shoulder blade, whether it's the, the, the leg or wherever it may be. And just feel that feeling. And now allow that feeling to flow up through the body and out through the head. You're returning it to the creator for transformation. It is leaving you now. It is passing up, up, up. And it's going to the creator for transformation. It has left you. Now, spend a moment just thinking 
that has left you so what is it you would like to replace it with in other words if if you you're angry about something do you want a loving relationship with that person whatever it is spin it on its head and now allow the creator to send you that feeling to replace the one that has left you allow it to come into your body and then allow it just imagine it flowing through every aspect of your body so if it was coming into the stomach or the heart just spread it out through the head through the arms the legs etc etc every single aspect of your body is now receiving that new feeling that new sense of whatever it is And now the creator is sending you the feeling of loving yourself completely and unconditionally. It is being flowed through your head into the whole of your body now. I love myself completely and unconditionally. And do the same, spread it all through every aspect of your body so that every aspect of you is full of that unconditional and complete love for yourself. Powerful. Okay, so very, uh, very powerful for me. I'd love to hear from some of the folks in the chat. What did you experience? What did you feel? Um, what are you feeling now? I love that it is unconditional love because you are never wrong. Uh, no matter what you are experiencing, no matter whether you're experiencing hesitation or burden or frustration or anger, you're not wrong. Uh, it's just an experience that you're having that's taking you to your next experience through a process of evolution. Is that right, Gregory? Absolutely. Okay. So you're perfect as you are, um, even in your anger and your frustration. It, 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 even if up here doesn't, doesn't think or keeps telling you you're not. You are. That's right. That's right. You're perfect as is right now. It's a process of evolution. If you didn't have the opportunity to experience this, you couldn't experience the contrast from what you want. So you would have no idea how to choose what you want instead. So Caroline says it was like a gentle, cool breeze. I would love to hear from some of the rest of you of what you experienced during that. Um, for me, it was actually, it's funny that you say, uh, I thought we were going to like have the creator descend it and then like repair that particular area. But I felt it in my arms. I felt it every Everywhere. And then you said, let it go everywhere. And I was like, yay, it's there. <laughs> so that was fun for me. I really enjoyed that. Um, and that unconditional love for yourself um, and allowing everything that you feel, even if it's bad feelings, good feelings, frustrating feelings, whatever it is, those are the right feelings for you to have. And you're in the perfect place experiencing the perfect thing. Uh, we have, it's a huge expansive feeling. I felt a warm pulsing from my crown to my torso um, and a sense of burden easing. Wonderful, beautiful process, Gregory. The message I received is certainty without clarity. Ooh, I like that. Like, yes, let's decide, but then it's okay to redecide later. I like that a lot. Absolutely. That yes. Absolutely. I don't need, I don't need to know what or how. I just have to move forward with trust. So that's step Absolutely. forward. Dagmar, Absolutely. I love that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, Chemo says, I love that it actually was released. That knot in my stomach was eased. Wow, thank you. I love my body. Yes, and your mind for creating that experience for yourself. Teresa says, it may be you that fear or feel uh, burden your future. It may be, I'm not sure what that was, but- I, awesome. that, that could be relating to Dagmar's question, which okay. is about my right shoulder. 
Okay. Very cool. Um, and she says, that's awesome. Dagmar. Fantastic. Everybody, you did a great job. Uh, pat yourselves on the back. Really nicely done. Uh, way to connect with the universe and your inner source or God or whatever you feel. Um, and being able to release that and give yourself some ease. So, uh, wow, that was magic. Like you promised, uh, in the very beginning. So a great opportunity to use magic and miracles to accelerate our life. And now we can step forward and be able to make that happen for ourselves. So congratulations to all of you for playing along. Uh, unfortunately, we are at time, but before we go, you actually have a couple of cool things for us. You have a gift, heal your life and have relationships you enjoy. Um, this is a gift for all of the people in our audience. Is that correct? Tell us about that. Correct. That, that, that's Hopopono, Hopo, quick, Hopopono, oh, yes. uh, which is an ancient uh, Hawaiian shamanic tool to heal relationships. Now, relationships actually are the basis of human life because we have a relationship with everything. Yep, even we your are here dog to and, and your house and everything. So every, all of those relationships could become distorted. And this is a very simple process. I guide you through the audio. You can just repeat it and use it as many times as you like on whatever relationship issues you might come up with. Fantastic. All right. So I'm signing up for that. I think that's totally awesome. And then uh, you also have a gift for our VIPs. Can you share with us a little bit about that? Um, the, the fast and easy breakthrough formula, fast and easy. This is a time of simplification. Complication is out. Simplification is in. Fast and easy, a nice, simple tool where you can heal yourself. You can heal the family. You can heal clients. Um, it won't take long, and it's it's a video of me working with another client, uh, a PDF showing you the process, taking you through, and more particularly asking you for reflections on what it is you felt as you were going through the process, because that embeds it in within you, and therefore it allows you to take it on. Well, fantastic. So that is going to be included in our upgrades. Um, so if you have upgraded to VIP, you're going to get that as a $175 value. If you haven't, you can grab it right now for just 97 bucks and you get Gregory's gift, plus the gifts from all of the speakers that have donated and contributed to our bundle. And on top of that, you're going to get a recording of this talk and you can go through that meditation again um, and all of the other talks from our amazing speakers. All right. Unfortunately, we're at time. So we have to let you go. Up next, we have Talia Dashow, Creativity as a spiritual practice going to be amazing but before we let you go Gregory any final words for our crew have fun that's Life awesome it's about having fun that it's is not awesome. about anything else I love it. So my methodology is if it's not fun, it's not worth doing. So I absolutely love it. Thank you, Gregory. Uh, super glad you joined us from Portugal. And I saw some other people join from, I think somebody said Phuket and then somebody else said Peru. So all the peas, all the happening. Uh, super excited to have you guys here. And I'll have to let you know what my soul name is, but it starts with a B. I know that much. And it's nine <laughs> it's letters. Nine letters. <laughs> all right, folks. I'll see you uh, at the top of the hour. Cheers. I got to go. Thank you. Blessings to you all. That was an amazing speaker, and we have another one coming right up. We're here at Positive Shifts with Kimberly Crow. If you haven't already, we recommend you upgrade to your VIP ticket. And with it, you'll get a recording of this talk and all the talks from our amazing speakers today on Positive Shifts. Not only that, you'll get bonuses from many of our expert speakers, including Impressively Impromptu, a half-day workshop with Kimberly Crow. See you back at the top of the hour. Cheers.